Okay, so I just had this sampling of the turkey orange chicken. What is up guys, Eastern Thrills here on Amusement Insiders here to show you some of the things that are going on at the box today. So one of the main things is this new coaster candy building that's currently right here. And it's currently under construction, but when done, it'll be a candy shop for... It'll be a candy shop that will be featuring many items, things, and such. And here is an inside look. The current exterior of the building. And yeah. So it's pretty awesome. It's going to be the current front of the building. And this will be the entrance. Here's a better shot of Coaster Candy. This is new for 2019, and here is a look at the indoor. As you can see, they're working very hard on it. As stuff has already been repainted, things are set. So make sure to stay tuned for this. Another thing that's minor, but does exist, are these new flags. I think they're really cool. Again, here's the continuation of these new flags. I think they're actually amazing. And I really like them. Another thing that you will notice is that the carousel has completed its restoration. So as you can see at the top right over here, you can see that all of it's repainted now when it's fresh and it looks absolutely beautiful. Definitely should go ride it and take a look. We'll take a time lapse on it and show you just what it's like. One thing that you'll notice while entering Plaza del Carnival 1 is the music and theming. But another thing is that El Diablo is no longer. So this is what El Diablo once was. Now, it's a green construction. You still got the old Rolling Thunder archway. You still got the queue line for Rolling Thunder and everything like that. But who knows? Arms seats ready. Yeah, we're going to happen with this plot of land here. And also this Another thing that's new and really snazzy, I find, is this new bridge. I don't know, I love the color. And the smell of modern wood is absolutely amazing. And during Memorial Day to Labor Day weekend, you'll be able to come and get splashed on Thaw Mill Log Flume. It's the log flume has been at the park since 1974. But honestly, I don't know, it's something about this that I just absolutely love. You can also get great views of the coaster surrounding like El Toro, Rolling Thunder, and you can see Green Lantern in the back there. <laughs> but yeah, I like it a lot. Here's the amazing Skyway. The reason I love it the most is because you get beautiful views of El Toro, King Ka, and Rolling Thunder. Like, look at how amazing El Toro looks. Look at that. Honestly stunning. <laughs> I love it so much, and honestly, to your right, you can see the new bridge over there and Thalmo Lawson. I really like it a lot. I don't know, I just love Green Adventure so much. I love the park. <laughs> love it. Here is the boardwalk section of the park, honestly hosting some amazing rides. Superman, as you can see over there, will be receiving a prepaint in 2019 to make it fresher and more nicer than ever. And there's also Green Lantern, which is beautiful, and I love it. <laughs> Down there, you can see the fresh new pavement that they've made. Honestly, it looks amazing and definitely should go take a look at it. It looks so fresh. It's so nice. We love it. Also, you can see those flags I was talking about. They're honestly fantastic. And here, you can see the front gate. Hello! That's the one amazing thing about the Skyway is the guest interaction. It's so beautiful. Here, you can see the main entrance. And the building you see down there is where the all new Coaster Candy building will be on. And along with that is some well known like Looney Tune Shop and Sweet Treat, which would be amazing. You can see the line to get your pin, and the line is pretty long. As you can see over there, there is Wonder Woman, Lasso of Truth, the world's tallest pension ride. Full honesty, it looks amazing in person. And for the most part, it should be opening on May 18th. So you have to be here on May 18th to come see it. Looks honestly fantastic. And who wouldn't miss, who wouldn't ride the horse? 
Nitro in all of its glory, and Batman at its side. The building you can see over there is Chop 6, and we'll be getting closer to that once we get off the start. Here is the all new Chop 6, new for 2019, and as you can see, it's already open to the public. And as you can see by the people here, they all love it. You could fry some of the newest fresh Asian cuisine that's now supporting the season dining class, which everyone should definitely get. Because secret, I love it because I love food. <laughs> Batman! Batman's honestly such a reason. Though. One of the best Batman clubs I think we have. Another thing that's new here is the new Gotham snacks in the Gotham subsection of Great Adventure. As you can see, not too much has happened yet, but we are excited to follow the coverage of this and see what comes. I also love snacks and food. <laughs> and here is the all new for 2019 Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth. Honestly, giving you my first thoughts, it's honestly a massive ride. Like standing next to it in person is huge. This ride is going to be fantastic. And with an opening, hopefully in May, it will be the best flat ride that this park has ever added. As you can see, this team has done a phenomenal job. Lots of work has been done and there is maintenance buildings more we excited we are all excited here in Newton and Cedars for Wonder Woman to make her debut in 2019 okay so I just had this sampling of the turkey, orange chicken, correct me if I'm wrong, and this chicken is the best thing I think I've ever ate. Like this is really good and you have to get it, like full honesty. That's really good. I just had to include that, I'm sorry, because that's really good. Also, I really like the rice, like it's just white rice, but I don't know, it's good. So when you come to Great Adventure, you have to try Chop Six. It's amazing, you have to do it. There are multiple new things that are happening around the boardwalk section, including Twister getting a repaint of the seats and the, and the ramp thing we've done. Cool. And Superman is getting a repaint. So you cannot see from here, but throughout the season, they will be repainting the ride. And it's still in operation, so you can still get your throws in Superman Ultimate Play. One final thing I would like to mention is that there is a new pointer over by here. So give you some nice form of shade in the summer months when it's hot and you can sit underneath here as you can see people doing. And cool off and watch rides like Twister, Superman, and Green Lantern, and Skyscraper. One of the things that will be introduced in 2019 will be mobile ordering and park offer that are supposed to be launched later this spring early summer and you'll be able to order food online through a process and also be able to use the Wi-Fi to help you. So that's really cool. Something that is new this year for 2019 is Wild Walkway, which is essentially a show that'll be happening on the midway while you're walking throughout this area and you can see animals and learn more about the area. So I think that's pretty cool. Something that is not open yet but will be opening soon Kaleidoscope Mirror Maze, which is going to be a new maze located right here in the Trout. Here is an angle of Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth. Here you can see the gondola has been installed and they are just finishing up some final touches. But Wonder Woman is absolutely massive. Over there you can see another angle of the solar panels, this time in the employee parking lot. There's Batman the Rock.